So up to this point, we have only looked at elements and compounds and their chemical formulas. So the next step is to look at how these elements and compounds interact together to form new substances. So what we're really talking about are chemical reactions. The way we represent a chemical reaction is with what we call a chemical equation. Now there are two parts to the chemical equation. We have reactants and we have products. So if we look at our chemical equation, anything to the left of the arrow is what we call a reactant. Now the reactant just means what you start with. So this is how we start our reaction. The arrow is called the yield sign. So we yield or produce a new substance. The yield sign shows the direction that the reaction is taking place. Anything to the right of the arrow is what we call the product. Now the product is the new substance that is produced, and that's the key. This is a new substance that is produced. So this is the result of the reaction. So when we look at this chemical equation, the way we read this is hydrogen reacts with oxygen to yield or produce water. So let's look more closely at this. You notice I have hydrogen, and I end with hydrogen. I start with oxygen, and I end with oxygen. It's important to note no new atoms were added, and I didn't get rid of any atoms. So atoms are rearranged. So all we do is move them around, rebond them, to form a new substance. That key word there is rearranged. If no new substance is produced, then it is not a chemical reaction. There must be a new substance. Okay. Now, the way we remember the chemical equation is by the chemistry rep. So reactant is my R, arrow is my A, and product is my P. So reactant, arrow, product, and sometimes you can add like an arrow. So this is a way to remember where do we find the reactants and where do we find the products in a chemical equation. Notice, same elements on each side, same atoms, and I have a new substance. My product is different than my reactants. Now I also say my product is different because Remember when we talked about a compound being formed, the compound has new properties. So this new substance must have new properties. So how did my properties change in this chemical equation? I started with hydrogen gas and oxygen gas, and I ended with water, which is a liquid. So it's a different state of matter. So remembering the chemistry wrap, you'll always be able to identify the reactants and the products in a chemical equation.